トトトトトトトラトトラトトロタタタトラトトロトトロテテテテリテテリテテリヘロートリアンサリオドワイントダイトリスアウンセイステンキュートサンバリバリスペシャルアイチエリザベスステンキュはい。Okay, yeah, I might think I'm being dramatic, but it really is amazing, Taurus. Okay, cross watchers, whoever is watching,、um, because you're not obligated again. I keep saying that. Thank you for making our channel a better place. Thank you for giving me the opportunity and the blessings to have all these decks. I mean, I went to Half Price Books yesterday and.、Um, I kind of went overboard a little bit, a little bit, Taurus. Okay. Like, bow. It's beautiful. I didn't get any used decks. I just don't like used decks. The Naughty Oracle, Taurus. What? You know, Taurus. And then the Pulp Tarot. I've been seeing this a lot and I loved it. Okay. So, we're going to use the deck Elizabeth. Oops, for me. Okay, Taurus, without further, further ado. Okay. Without further ado. Taurus, we're going to do somebody that you're not in contact with. Now, Taurus, this energy of no contact, I'm talking about、um, the same thing I did the last time for you guys.、Um, I don't know if it's for you guys or if it's a general message. I can't remember. But remember when we were doing the Emperor and the Empress? Okay, we find out, okay, where the Emperor and the Empress is. And then every card in between, okay, is going to discuss your person, your divine counterpart. Some of you don't believe in divine counterparts, that's fine. This reading will be for you. Okay, so let's see, Torians. Okay, Emperor, Empress first. <laughs> Whoever's first, baby. Okay, Torians. I am giving private readings right now. You may look in the description box. I still see people ask, Hey, how do I get a private reading? Baby, click the bottom, click where the about me is. If that's what that means to some people, Torians. Okay, I do it. Wow, she would come out first, or he, the Empress. Look how effing beautiful Taurus that is. Woohoo! Woohoo! I want to make sure y'all see that. All right, so all this here is not included. <laughs> Now, King of Cups, the Emperor! What? Okay, Taurus, that didn't go like I thought it. I mean, not like I thought, but I mean, I thought I was assuming there's going to be more cards in between. Whoa, buddy. Okay, four wands. Taurus, <laughs> you and your counterpart are closer than you will ever suspect, okay? Clearly. So, what I'm going to do here, Taurus, is I'm going to clarify these. I'm going to see what's going on in your energy, Divine Feminine, and Divine Masculine, the Emperor here. Now, the King of Cups in the middle. Taurus, seeing this King of Cups right here, it feels like feel feelings are building up. Okay? And I don't do gender, so that could either be on your end or someone else's end. But all these other cards, woo. Taurus. And I, trust me, I shuffled, I saged. Wow. I love it, I love it a lot. Spirit, let's go. Thank you. All right, James. Okay, Spirit, what do we got going on here between Tauruses, Taurus and their divine counterpart? Okay, Spirit, please give clear messages for Taurus and their divine counterpart at this time. Taurus,、um, the Empress could be you, okay, because we all know that's Taurus and Libra energy. But Taurus, you could be the Emperor, okay? Place it how it fits for you, okay? Because that's Aries energy here, the Emperor. And a lot of you could be Aries, Taurus, Cuspers. Place it where it fits. If you're like, bitch, I'm not talking to anybody. I don't want anybody. Oh, that's the spirit. But then this reading might not be for you. Okay. Thanks for being here anyway. Spirit, what we got going on for Taurus 
and their divine counterpart. Let's see. Yeah. First, the bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, somebody likes the way that you carry things. Somebody likes the way that you are very grounded, established, okay? Someone feels like you're extremely established here. There's feelings, Taurus, that someone has um, mastered here. You and this person have mastered your feelings. Maybe there was some rocky energy before. Maybe one felt like the other was trying to control the other. Yeah, look, judgment. It's coming back, baby. It's coming back, okay? It's coming back. Spirit, we got judgment that just came out. Spirit, what do we got going on here for this empress here for Taurus divine counterpart? What's going on with Taurus and this energy? What's going on here, Spirit? But the King of Cups can only be the card between the moon. May I say, Taurus, you are this person. I'm going to say you. Taurus, you're very mysterious to somebody right now, okay? So much so that they can't read or understand anything that's going on in your life, what you're doing. It is sort of at the bottom of the deck. Someone can't get you off their mind. And this is why, the reason because, is you are being very, 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 you're moving in silence. That's what I'm feeling here. The moon's about secrets, the unknown, things like that. But Taurus, your moves in silence are also making you more attractive. More attractive so much so that this person can't stop thinking about you. Whoever this is towards this in your energy, their feelings are growing. Okay? Now, they've mastered that. Maybe, Taurus, when you and this person have come into contact before, if you ever have, maybe before their emotions were all over the place, or this is a person, Taurus, you have not even met yet that's coming in, and they used to be all over the place about their emotions. They've mastered that. But you got somebody definitely in their head, okay? Definitely in their head. Spirit the moon. And then the Eight of Swords came right back out again with the Seven of Cups. Taurus, they fantasize about you. They cannot get you out their mind, okay? They cannot get you out their mind. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? They cannot get you out of their head, all right? This person feels, Taurus, that you are, like, I just saw the Hermit energy, Virgo energy. Um, this person feels like you're very mysterious, but there's something about you, Taurus, your, your sensuality. It's like... You're moving in silence. It's not like I'm trying to get back at everybody who did me dirt. It's not like that. No, 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 no. This is more of the energy like I choose to move this way. I'm going to move this way and no one can move me. Do you feel what I'm saying, Taurus? Like this is something and it's got it's got someone in their head about you. Okay. I, 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 I just this energy is very beautiful. It's mysterious. Okay. It's very mysterious. Yeah, Page of Wands. It's got someone wanting to like make this this um this move. And this is like a bit impulsive, but at the same sense, Taurus, we've got to think about it. We're dealing with the Emperor. So someone has to stand out as if they're on the exterior. I am all kings. I am all I'm masculine. I I'm I can control my emotions, but inside Taurus, they are moving so fast. Look at this. I can't make it up. Two, Eight of Wands right after the Knight of the Knight of Swords. And then we have the Two of Cups and the Star. Inside, I don't give a damn about their exterior. Inside, they are moved by you. It just it's 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 a fucking tsunami within this person's energy. Okay. I don't know if you can feel this, Taurus. Somebody watches you quite a lot. Somebody watches you quite a lot. Open it for me. Somebody open somebody opens somebody watches you quite a lot yeah the chariot okay the chariot and the strength card someone sees you Taurus, moving very very swiftly it's like you're gliding you don't walk you glide and it's like once they think once they think once this person that you're connecting with your divine counterpart once they think they have you figured out you do something different this is absolutely beautiful you're in your feminine energy you're in your feminine energy, and you know what? That's the beauty of it. You are not going to chase a shit. You're not going to chase shit. You're going to attract, and that's exactly what you're doing. Stand still. Stand still. Keep doing whatever you are doing. You've got someone here that feels like a kid again, okay? They can't figure you out. The world card in reverse. If you guys thought that this was over, if you thought this was a cycle that was going to be over or zipped out, it's not, okay? Now, either you or this person have gone through some heartbreak. Some people stabbing you behind your back and things like that. I think that's another reason why this Empress energy is moving in the way they're moving. Okay? They don't want people to know about their moves. They're not going to go online. They're not going to go places and, and, and shout out, you know, be, behold, my new, I'm going to tell you my business. No, no. 
This is somebody that's doing something on their own. They're doing this on their own because they know they have to do this on their own. It's just like, it's like a second nature. They, they cannot, it's like, I don't need anybody to know my moves, my business, what I'm doing next or how I'm doing it. All I know is I'm getting shit done. And this Empress is absolutely stunning in this interview. It's, it's giving divine, the divine feminine all the way. Divine feminine doesn't chase, okay? She, she's not gonna be blowing your phone up. Let me get my tennis shoes on. Oh, I find, I found the location. Oh no, honey. Oh no, that throne. Look at, look at, look, look, look at this empress. First off, bitch, whether you want me to be or not, I'm at peace. I'm at peace because I know exactly who I am. I know what I give. I know my energy. I don't have to prove it to nobody. I sit still. I don't have to prove to you who I am. You're gonna definitely see it, and maybe. Taurus, at one point, you might have been trying to prove something to somebody or someone. Hey, Taurus, don't feel at fault for that. Don't feel bad for that. A lot of people do that. Hell, I've done it. You know, try to show somebody, hey, look, you know, I'm down for you. They didn't get the picture. They don't get the fucking memo until you back the fuck away. Okay? And that's with every single person. I've, it just it just happens like that. And so now we've got Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's stressed out about this. They're stressed out because they don't know exactly where this is going, if it's going to close out, if it's going to keep going. But what I feel here is that somebody really wants to explore something and they don't want it to end. They want this to be a cycle that goes on for a very long time and that they want to spend a lot of time with you. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, walking away from sexual energies. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting that. Sexual energies or people that want to just have sex for the night. And, you know, the energy of Ace of Wands is the Ace. Yeah, we get it. But this is a page of wands here. Someone feels like a kid again. Even though they have that exterior, oh, I'm big, I'm bad, you know, I'm looking for my Empress or I'm not looking for my Empress. Whatever happens, happens. There's a slew of emotions going on with your divine counterpart. Okay, your divine masculine, may I say. All right, they're walking away from things that are not doing well for them. And I switched the cards because the Eight of Cups is walking away. This Ace of Wands, walking away from one night stands, um, people that just, meaningless connections, Ten of Swords. That they just end up thinking, oh, they're the one. You know, this feels so good. They're the one. And then it ends up being, okay, well, damn, that came out like that again. Because they want this, Ace of Cups. They want new love. They want something that's going to overflow, something that they can come together and is overflowing of abundance. And it doesn't have to be money, but energy, reciprocity, tangibility. Is that a word? You know, tangible things. Okay, Taurus? Wow, baby. And I wonder why I was so into doing y'all's messages when I got those cards. I was like, hey, Betty. Justice. And it's going to be a fair connection. This is not going to be something that sits there. Someone plays with it. The scales are off balance. Oh, someone's putting in more than the other. It's going to come together like mayonnaise, bologna, and cheese. Mm. Many of you might not like bologna sandwiches. I do. I just got to watch how many I eat. But <laughs> it's, 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 it's a good thing. It goes well together. It goes well together. Okay. This is beautiful. Libra energy, okay? Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Wanting to bring in the justice that you deserve. It's like this emperor, this masculine energy knows that you've done what you, you've been through some shit as well as they have. But you guys have different things you've been through in different timelines. Maybe you've been single for a while, Taurus, or maybe this person's just getting newly out of being single. Say something else. It doesn't matter how long you've been away from another connection. Does not mean that spirit doesn't intend for you to get into another one. See, in the 3D, people are going to be like, oh, wow, that you moved on fast. The divine allowed me to move on fast. Who are you? You're not my God. You're not my angels. You're not my spirit guides. You're simply a person that's minding my business. So whomever this is for, stop worrying about time. Divine time is not our time. Whenever it's ready, when the, when the, when the eggs are done being boiled, it's time to take them the fuck out. Okay? It's time to get them ready. You can have your cool off period and nobody's saying you have to deal with somebody when, you, you know, you get that opportunity. And if you don't want to accept the opportunity, well, then just say no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Spirit, what's this justice energy? I feel like with that ten of swords I just saw when I kept seeing it, someone's learned to master their emotions towards whether it's you or this masculine energy. But somebody has decided to go on ahead and master their emotions. Though they feel all these emotions on the inside, they don't they don't go out and do big gestures of 
I'm in love again, you know, hop, skipping, jumping. No, this person wants to bring this beautiful energy to you. They know you've been through your own, you, you, they know you've been through your own shit. They know this. They know that judgment came out again. Wow, judgment and justice. This is a beautiful connection, Taurus. Four of Pentacles. This is not something you're going to have to hold on to for dear life and hope that it works. Okay? This is going to be something that's going to last for a very long time. The world card in the reverse. You and this person are going to feel like, you know, we're on these thrones. But when we're together, we feel very, very... We feel like it'll never end. This, this beautiful discovery will never end. As you know, the wands are like passion and just because it's a page doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean that it's childish it doesn't mean it just feels childlike exploring someone's is fantasizing a lot about you okay someone's fantasizing a lot about you and, um, the fantasies they run wild okay a bit but the justice here yes this person feels like they owe you and Taurus, you probably don't even know this person. For some of you, you do. It's been rocky. It's going to be different for every single person. But it's been a rocky connection. Someone may have been in karmic situations, not knowing what they had until it was gone. Maybe three or four different times. Well, there's a cycle coming in where someone doesn't want this to end. They don't want to close the cycle out. The cycle's going to be very beautiful. Cl clarifying the King of Cups is the the um the chariot cancer energy spirit give me something for that world card really quick so taurus can see what i'm talking about yeah look see the ten of swords something else is over but something here is not going to end this is just this is judgment this is bringing in something better okay whether you or this person have dealt with it the world card in the reverse spirit three of pentacles working together like i said you guys are like bosses but you guys are going to learn how to make things work together. Three of Cups celebrating the Ace of Pentacles coming together as one. Now, whether you guys have matched up in this lifetime or there's another lifetime that you guys have been knowing each other, you're coming back together. And that's the world card in the reverse. Three of, three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. There was something else in the way. Something else, whether that was a job, a person, what have you, okay? Some of you spent time in hermit mode. Some of you wanted to sit there and, you know, sneak away from people. Wanted to ghost situations and things like that, okay? But I feel like this person wants to fight for this connection now. They want to fight for this connection. They're willing to protect it with everything that they have. Do you hear me, Taurus? That world card in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles in the upright. Like, I feel like, like I said before, you guys are going to be about business, but you're going to feel like kids around each other and this is a cycle that's not going to close out that easy it's going to be absolutely beautiful spirit what do we got for the king of cups we got three major arcanas already for the king of cups someone's been through something towards whether that's you or this emperor someone's been through something it was a painful thing it was a painful thing i think both of you've been through pain of course but that's done tens are endings all right, three of pentacles. Now I'm ready to get to work, okay? I can't get this person out of my mind. I can't get my divine counterpart out of my head. I'm ready for my person. This person could have been manifesting you and you don't even know it, okay? Could have been manifesting you. But the funny thing is with this king of cups, like I said, someone has been having feelings that were all over the place that were scattered and they couldn't figure themselves out. Well, guess what? King of cups is very a bit, bit of a stoic energy. It keeps the emotions not completely hidden, but you just do not know how big the emotions are behind that behind that cup. They could have a fat ass um, pimp cup sitting behind their back. You wouldn't know. And this person won't tell you that. They give out love where it's deserved. Where they can give their energy to someone that they care about. And then for this King of Cups to have the, the Justice card, the Judgment card, and the Chariot speaks volumes. Someone feels and believes towards that you deserve all of this. They deserve, they feel like you deserve equality. You deserve a balanced energy that's going to come in and give you what you deserve. Resparking the energy of wanting to like balance out, you know, um, moving forward, okay, from life, leaving things behind that just don't serve you nor them running off together in the sunset now we all know that this chariot only has one seat but did we not know that the chariot is someone coming towards or leaving going going forward 
It's not going backwards. It's going forward. And at a very high speed, too. They're coming to you. Here we are with the Four Cups. The next card out, Four Cups. They didn't realize that there could be something so beautiful because they never looked at it, okay? One, two, three. Three cups down there at the bottom. They might have thought about reconciling with other people or is someone going to come back? They're going to see my true worth, blah, blah, blah. No, this emperor is coming right towards you, empress. Or empress, you're coming right towards this emperor. It doesn't matter how you do it. It doesn't make you weak being a woman going towards a man. It doesn't make you weak being a man going towards a woman. Get that out the picture. This is about the connection. And then there's a connection, especially when it's divine. It does not include five or six people off of everybody's family and friends and things getting involved. No, this is about you and someone else closing that gap, okay? Closing that gap. Three of swords at the bottom of the deck. You've been through much heartache and so have they. These three cups here. I said before, this person's emotions or your emotions were all over the place, okay? Now we have the sun, Leo energy. Now there's a clear way, there's a clear path for this to go through. There's a clear path for this chariot to be able to go through and the sun beaming down like happiness is on the way, okay? Happiness is on the way. I've been through the gray areas, okay? I've been through the gray areas. Now I'm ready to get to where I want to get to, the love of my life. The love of my life. I ignored that cup. I never saw it. Now, Taurus, whether this is someone you've dealt with before or have not, place it where it fits. Place it where it fits. Look at this. Thank you, Spirit. Place it where it fits. But this cup is not being paid no attention to. It's like it's not there. Someone's looked at so many other things. Am I going to reconcile with that person or that person or that person? Because I think that we finally got it together, blah, blah. No more. No more being in that boredom energy. Okay, here they come. They're getting the fuck up and they're getting out of that energy. Judgment, making a final judgment call to come towards the love of their life. Like I said before, with that world karma verse, this is not closing out. This is going to be, this is going to be, wow, the fool at the bottom of the deck. This is going to be a situation where everybody around you feels like you and this person are fools for falling together. Maybe you guys have different cultural backgrounds. Maybe you guys two, 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 two on the clock. Maybe you have different cultural backgrounds. Maybe you have different religions, whatever it may be. It, whether it's the emperor or empress coming towards whomever, you're going to ace it. These are two different color horses. I still believe the chariot's still going to fucking move, regardless of what anybody thinks, regardless of the differences. A lot of people think opposites don't attract. Think whatever the hell you want. In this reading right here, there's a judgment being called with the justice card. Judgment, justice. Judgment, justice. Justice, judgment. It's being the decisions made. I want what I want, and I'm not going to anything else. That world card in the reverse, I cannot stress it enough. Could be done with another fixed sign. A Taurus is yourself, a Leo, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius. Don't have to be. But this is, this is tiresome. This is tiresome. Sitting, wondering, looking back at the past, all that. Nope. Fuck it. I want that cup. Somebody's looking up and they're ready to get in that chariot and they're ready to come. They're ready to come towards you. There's even a sword. Truthful, honest, communication. It's coming. It's coming. And then for all we know, Empress or Emperor may have been sitting around bored. Like, am I ever going to get love again? Because everybody I done messed with them sat there and fucking screwed me over. But you're not looking in this, in this card. You're not seeing that cup. You don't even see it coming. The divine has it already set and placed for you. Again, divine time and clarifying the king of cups, the ace of cups. Okay? Your divine counterparts coming quicker than you know. That's why when I sat there and sat, sat there and saw that, I'm like, hold up. Because normally I'm like used to like 20, maybe like 14, maybe 10 cards in between the emperor and the empress. There was one card. One card. I love it. I love this energy. God. I love y'all's readings lately. I don't know what she Emperor. What's this emperor about? Five of swords. They've been through it. Okay? Do you hear what I say? They've been through all the games. They've been through people trying to test them. They've been through people trying to test their man, their manhood. You know, masculine energy. Their manhood. Are they good enough? Can they actually step up to the plate? Mind fucks. Cluster fucks. Okay? Nine of swords. They've been through it. 
Okay, Ace of Wands with these like, I'm, I'm sorry, but the Ace of Wands is not giving me brand new fantastic energy today. Sorry, Taurus, that's what you're expecting, but no. I feel like these are one night stands. They're so exciting. They're so new. Oh, I can't wait to hop in bed with this person. I wonder how they know how to twerk. I wonder if they know how to do that arch. You know, that type of shit. But like, it's like Eight of Wands, like, what am I doing here? This Ace of Wands with the Nine of Swords and the communication is very hot to trot, but somebody wants something else. Somebody's looking for something else. Look at the Ace. Look at the Ace. Look at the Eight of Swords like shooting upwards, and the Four of Wands is right there. There's something missing. These 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 mind fucks and these. I gotta play the game to kick it, but this is an Emperor. Why would you why would you put your male or female emperor? Why would you put yourself out there like that to be handled by everybody when you're not meant for everybody? You're a different breed. You're you're not you you're different. Okay? You you're just different. I don't know why I'm hearing the word chosen. A lot are chosen, okay? People don't like to hear that word because they're like, "Well, what about everybody else?" Right now, the energy I'm reading, I'm not supposed to be thinking about what everybody else thinks about the chosen one. That's not my business. You do think what you want. That would be your business. Five of Swords, Spirit for the Emperor. What is the Emperor here, Spirit? What's the message? Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Getting cheapened. I'm sorry, but I'm feeling like this Page of Pentacles different from this Page of Wands here. Clarifying the Five of Swords here. It's like cheap offers. I'm sorry. I have to be honest here with this. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Stressful. They start off really great. Mind fuck you, and then they leave. Yeah, look. I can't make it up. Ten of Wands to the Three of Swords. Just like, that was pointless. With all this Emperor, with all this divine energy within me, and I just gave somebody their big old huge energy boost, like I'm a goddamn Red Bull, I, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being like done like this. If you see here, the Page of Pentacles looks like they're kind of unsure about this offer. I don't know if you can see that. But they're kind of looking down at it like, hmm. I mean, I'll give it to you, but I don't know if I'm going to like stay here. Okay, Five of Swords, this person here just looks like, hmm, I bet there's something a bit better, okay? Instead of me trying to make people bow down to me, you know, out of confusion, not knowing what the fuck they want. Do you see what I'm saying? Because this is a Five of Swords, so they're holding three swords while two sit here. Three swords we just saw, heartbreak, okay? The same shit, different day. I'm going to be left here with these three of swords heartbroken and someone else is going to be left confused, not knowing whether to pick me, um, choose our, choose a, a divine path, or I'm going to have to teach someone something, how to open up their cell. Nope. Nope. The emperor coming towards the empress. It's already done. They know exactly what the fuck it is that they want. They know exactly their value and they're not going to deal with nothing less. Period. Point blank. Okay. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is enough. Okay. Enough. Enough. No more. Five Swords, the Emperor is seeing that. That's why I said their energy was all over the place. Someone here was scattered. Whether it was you and this person or what. But just one card to be in between. Something is balancing and it's closing a gap to where you guys can come together and actually make things, okay, official. And what I mean by official is like, you might mingle for a bit or whatnot, you know. But there's going to be something different about you and this person's connection. Whether different from the other ones that you've connected with. The Empress is moving in silence. The Emperor is sitting there seeing this Empress moving in silence. They know exactly who you are. They just can't shoot out and say, hey, there you go. No, they're afraid of making you run off. You're, you're moving in silence anyways. You're not trying to get anybody to notice you. Because again, the feminine attracts. She does not chase. It's in male nature to hunt. That's why so many people get kind of confused. And I even tell my little girls this. I said, don't go chasing a guy. Stop. Stop. They don't want that. As much as people say in these videos and things, why are they here? Stop hearing. Sometimes read the Bible. Sometimes read that. I'm not saying I know it by heart. I'm not going to sit here and play like I do. I don't. But just sometimes you, you can see. You'll see. Some of you don't believe in the Bible. That's fine. I'm not trying to thump you with the Bible. No. Anyway. I'm getting off track here because this is a very beautiful reading. I love this reading. I don't want to stop. Look, I'm at 30 minutes, Taurus. Okay? Spirit, the Emperor. The Emperor. Dealing with nonsense. Dealing with confusion. Dealing with mindfucks. Like, so 
So eventually this is going to end to where my heart's broken again or someone else's heart's broken again. I'm confused or they're heartbroken or we're both heartbroken and confused. And we're really not heartbroken so much because we kind of figured that it wasn't going to work out from the third day that we were around each other. But the passion and things was so hot to trot, you know, that ace of wands, you know, oh, bend that ass in the surf, twist that ass in the surf, whatever the fuck they want to say, you know, do this, do that. Yeah, it's hot, it's passionate. But it's like, what else is there? And you get to, you get to know the person, you're like, oh, damn, your baby, you got three baby daddies in the picture and they still want to be with you? Like, the emperor doesn't want to deal with all that. And sometimes an emperor does not mind. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, like, this person had to go through a lot. Like, they would realize things and... It'd be another cold night. Shit, it doesn't have to be cold. It could be a hot day. It doesn't matter. The emperor is just like, man, where is my empress? The empress. I'm moving in silence, but where is my emperor? Where are they at? Okay. I'm going to sit back and attract. I'm not going to chase and find my emperor. No. I'm not going to go hunt. That's why this energy is more over here, like, stressed. Because they that, that's what they want. They want to find their empress. They want you. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's all I can say. I just got through discussing this Five of Swords energy with this Page of Pentacles with the Emperor. Wow. That's why they just, their emotions were all over the place. Five of Swords energy, two of cups at the bottom of the deck. The person that I can actually like connect with. We're on, we're basically maybe not on the same goddamn page, but we are on, we're in the same book. We're in the same chapter. Maybe you're on this page and they're on the next page right next to you. And all y'all got to do is just cross over by the end of all the reading down the book. Then before you know, y'all meet at the end. Look at this. Empress, Empress. This is a magnificent reading. And I'm going to tell you again. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm, I always look at the back of the deck, baby. It's stuff we cannot see. So we got the Two of Cups, the Three of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Okay? The Emperor, or the Empress, doesn't matter. Empress, you're allowed, to, you're allowed to sit back and wait, baby. Shit, do what you gotta do. Three of Wands here. Okay, don't look at my nails, y'all. They're crazy. And then the Seven of Pentacles. The Patience. That has been having to be put within the energy to get to this point is so fucking close. It's so close. Here we have just the King of Cups in the middle, okay? Which I was very surprised. We all know. But Taurus, I mean, look at this. The bottom of the deck. The Empress doesn't even know. The Emperor's been calling for her or him. This could be same sex. It doesn't matter. However you see yourself, baby, rock it. The Two of Cups, been waiting. I want my Two of Cups. I've been waiting patiently and bam. I've been here, baby. <laughs> what, did you call me? Did you call me in? Okay. Because I've been calling you in too. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Going through chump situations. They got the Five of Swords on the Emperor side. You got the Ten of Swords on the Emperor side. So the things you've dealt with, you've closed out a lot of things here. Okay? But they also have the Ten of Wands. See, y'all been in similar situations. It's just a simple fact. I feel here the Empress doesn't just sleep with everybody. She just doesn't. And they've been waiting on this, trying to look at things from a new perspective. The snake holding the leg, okay? <laughs> Looking at things from a different perspective, okay? Nine of Wands, feeling depleted. Because every damn body they come across it like, you ain't the one. No, you, you're you not. Five, five, five of Pentacles for you. Five of Pentacles for you. And they get back to praying and meditating. And they've been reassured, Okay? That these people that they didn't come into contact with is just not it. The devil energy. It's just people that want to keep. Look at this. This is strong negative energy here. I'm not going to lie. You're in this energy with the star. Praying, meditating, trying to stay on that path. 
You you may have taken a couple of shortcuts, but you see the shortcuts get you nowhere. We have the Three of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords. Like, it's just... But look, the devil has to go on about their way, and you get to stay up there and keep yourself focused on that star. The devil is a liar. The devil is a thief. Here's the Seven of Swords to prove that. But they couldn't have you. They couldn't have you, Emperor Empress. They could not not going to happen. We have the Ace of Wands that came out. I didn't feel really well about the Ace of Wands. I love the Ace of Wands, but not here. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups. Okay. Spirit, clarify this Empress. Clarify this Empress here. Oh, shit. It's too much. Clarify the Empress, please, for Taurus. Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You guys will work on this. And it's going to bring beautiful rewards. God is in the details. The divine is in the details of this. This is not by no fucking accident. There's been a lot of work having you put in on each end. Okay, the emperor's end, the, the empress's end, and the emperor's end. Put in work. Work being put in. Okay, to learn lessons. To understand what it is you want, what it is you don't want. And clarifying the Empress is the Seven of Wands. Divinely protected. Divinely protected. Okay? And when I say that, I mean it. Not only is the Empress divinely protected, but the Emperor is going to protect this connection. The masculine is going to protect this connection. You don't have to worry about third parties and shit. I don't give a damn if three of cups and three of, uh, three of pentacles is here. And then we saw the three of wands over here. You can scream all day. Well, that's third party. Whatever the fuck you want to say. Okay? Excuse my language. Whatever you want to think, whatever you want to say. This is the energy I'm feeling here. And it's not about third parties. It's about having to go through dirty, muddy waters. Individuals their mindsets, and things like that to get to where it is you've been wishing and praying for. And you're finally going to get it. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with the divine. Be patient. Taurus, I don't think you have a problem with that. I don't think you have a problem with patience. I'm, I, just, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And other people... Are going to be stuck trying to look at things from a different perspective. Well, maybe I should give that emperor, that empress a better chance. Stay in the cold. Stay in the five of pentacles where you need to be at. Don't come over here. Don't come over here with your king of wands, queen of wands, king of cups, being a fool. Look at all these different, look at all these different people. Well, maybe I should, look at them how they're all looking. Like, maybe I should have thought about that. You should have thought about nothing. You stay your ass out there in the cold. I hope you got a heated north face jacket because you ain't coming in this bitch. This is something between two people, not four, not five, between two individuals and the divine and God himself. Beautiful spirit. One and two cards. I check. I'm I didn't mean for it to go this long, but this reading, I loved it. Okay, so here we have first quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. Honor how you feel. Allow yourself to feel. Because the person that's coming towards you is who you've been asking for, who you've been praying for. Okay? This is called the, um, the moonology manifestation. Okay? Now we have first quarter moon in Scorpio. This is a lot of water energy here, but I mean, you're doing well, so I know, baby. All the signs are here. Reveal what needs to be seen. Your true, authentic, loving, beautiful, divine self. Reveal what needs to be seen with the right person. Okay? Honor your feelings about things and how you want things to go in your life. Lead your, lead your spirit by example. Does that make sense? Lead your energy and your spirit by example. What you want to have spiritually, what you want to have energetically, lead by example. Lead your spirit and energy in the way. Guide the way. Guide the way. Okay? What you want when you allow things in that are just not of your type, 
a thing going on and things like that, you're going to actually like bring in the wrong things. And that can create soul ties and slit tires, busted window. I mean, no. Emperor and Empresses, no, honey. We're just not... <laughs> we're etiquette over here. We're, we're very, we're very etiquette over here. We don't, we don't know, no, no. I would not need to go and bust out my emperor's windows. I already knew he's very dedicated. But thank you for the information, hater. That's what I mean. You won't have to worry about this. This connection that's coming together. I love this Taurus. I, I, ah! Taurus, can I take your reading, please? <laughs> Please. Oh, so beautiful. I love it. Mm -mm -mm. Whether well, this person's in your life yet or not. <laughs> Here comes the sun. Do, do, do. Uh, not only did the emperor and the empress come out in the main fold that I did, but they came out in the clarifying cards too. Damn, Taurus. That's what I have for you today, loves. I'm sorry it ran so late. Taurus, I love you guys to the moon and back, okay? I love y'all to the moon and back. Thank you guys so much for being here, okay? Thank you for taking care of our channel, Taurus. Thank you guys for the donations, the love, the decks. I love you guys so much. To the moon and back, Taurus. I always know that, okay? I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, all right? And I definitely will see you guys in the next one. Mwah! Bye, Taurus.